Hi everybody, David Dilling here on behalf of MarkSquare. In the last video, we showed you how to convert Microsoft Publisher files to Adobe InDesign. In today's video, how-to video, we're going to show you how to convert Microsoft Publisher files, Mac or Windows, into Affinity Publisher, a popular alternative. All right, let's go check it out on the computer here. All right, so here we are on the MarkSquare website. Our products include desktop products, which will do these conversions as well. And then in any event, OmniMarks will convert publisher files to other formats for you, like Affinity Publisher. Today, we're going to show you the easy way, the one-off way, with also some monthly subscriptions possible with Mark's Portal, which you see right here. So to convert your Microsoft Publisher file into Affinity Publisher is simple. You just take your publisher file, and you drop it on the drag and drop area or click upload file to select your file on your hard drive. This SAS solution is easy to use and will first provide a preview for you. Check it out. Here we get a preview of how the file looks and then we can get a, even a free pre-flight or file inventory report. Very handy if you wanna know what's in the file, like which fonts were used and which images, etc. But over here, we can actually export or convert the file to Affinity Publisher. Select Affinity Publisher, click Convert. It's that easy. When it's all done, you just have to make sure you click Download down there, download the file, get it right here. You can open it up, and what you'll see is you get your file, your IDML file, which will open in Affinity Publisher, and you get all the images extracted at resolution used. Very handy if you don't have the images anymore. Now we just take the IDML and drag and drop it onto Affinity Publisher. And there you have it. You'll have to substitute fonts, of course, to, to match the ones that were used, however old this file is now, this legacy Microsoft Publisher file. But there you have it. You get everything right up into Affinity Publisher. So there you have it. Wow, look how easy it is. You get your Microsoft Publisher file now right up into Affinity Publisher where you can now make edits, you can go in there and, uh, you know, adjust image sizes, uh, delete or change images, whatever you need to do, you can now do that right here in Affinity Publisher. So that's how easy it is to get your Microsoft Publishers files ran right to Affinity Publisher with the help of Mark's portal, which you can just set up a free account to do the actual conversion. It does cost a little bit of money. There's pricing for one-off and for uh, monthly subscriptions very affordable, so you can choose the plan that works best for you. And once you're logged in, you can then just drag your Microsoft Publisher files right onto Mark's portal and get conversion options to Adobe InDesign or like we just saw to Affinity Publisher. It's that easy. That's how easy it is to use Mark's portal from Marksware to convert your Microsoft Publisher files, which is being discontinued, I think, in 2026. Microsoft will discontinue Publisher. That's how easy it is to convert these legacy Publisher files into other formats, in this case, to Affinity Publisher. For more information, check it out over on marksportal.marksware.com or check out all the Marksware desktop products on marksware.com. All right, buddy. David Dilling from Marksware signing off. Wishing you a fantastic day. Take care.